Welcome back to Fog Football. We're here with previewing the first of the Euro 2020 prep games, even though it's kind of Euro 2021. But fuck it. We're against Holland. I think this is being held in Portugal. Just to add to the Euro theme where it's all over the Europe. But yes, here is the team. Uh, John Fleck, useless bastard, went and got COVID, so half the team has to uh, self-isolate. Well, I say half of them, I think six, but they're pretty. Took both, no. both right backs. But, but let's be real here, right? Like, if COVID... Apparently COVID can affect you. I mean, they were saying that COVID was affected Pathetkin, and that's why it looks so shite in that fight. Well, if, if these guys are getting COVID, right, and the Euros is only a couple weeks away, they're not, they're not going to be fully... And what happens if someone gets... Right, only no, Flex but... got it and he's asymptomatic. So why is all the other players on test late? Because there was close contacts. But what happens if that... What, what if that happens again, like, a day before the Euros? Then everyone that, who's a close contact... So it's half your team wiped? Aye. And did it, do you get to call it replacements? Aye, well, I'm assuming so it's special circumstances. No, but like... do, you not think, do, you not, do you not think a bullshit COVID thing could effectively eliminate a team from the Euros? Yep, exactly. So, 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 well, what if we, a see, false positive. Like, what if, McGinn, like what if McGinn's oh, gets COVID, but oh, his bubble was like Tierney and McTominay and all that sort of, you know what I mean? Like, we're fucked. I know. I don't like this. To me, this, this I think this, this we all know football's fixed, and this could be the ultimate screw job. I mean, they don't even need, they don't need to try and screw you with VAR now. They can just be like, oh, <laughs> ten of your best players have COVID. You know what I mean? Kind I don't know who best. determines who's the close contacts or not. I don't know. Well, you try to tell me like if Harry Kane comes down with COVID and say the entire front seven of England were close contacts, are you trying to tell me that oh they wouldn't try and cover that up? No, I agree. Uh, right, let's, let's talk about the lineup here. We've got Craig Gordon and Nets. I've no issues with, but I, I, I'd like to. I think I'd like to have seen McLaughlin start. Maybe McLaughlin will start the other game. Or the other half. Yeah, know. maybe they'll do that. I'm not too sure. I think that would be the right way to go. Can't call a guy up and not give him any sort of time. Uh, and I'm assuming he's playing a, the, the the five For at the back. Sake. <laughs> it's Tierney, Robertson, Cooper, no, he's Jack. Three at the back. Oh, so it'll be four at the back. So Tierney playing right back? Aye, it looks like it. So it's going to be Tierney, Cooper, Henry and Robertson. But with no right back, so I have no issue with Tierney playing right back. And, and no, we'll, we'll find out what fucking Henry can do. Apparently he's been performing well in Europe. We haven't been able to see him. but well, apparently, he's, Celtic uh, haven't half Apparently in Bundesliga he's been doing alright, so we'll, we'll see how he gets on. Midfield, I'm very disappointed not to see Gilmore start. Maybe know. it's because of the Champions League. But... I have nothing against Turnbull, right? But see, any time Gilmore plays for well, not Chelsea, even, not even turn. Like, uh, let's see, oh, like Christy, Armstrong, Trump, Christy, or Christy, or we'll McGregor. See, McGregor's pissed. We've we'll seen McGregor, Armstrong, Christy. We know what they can do in a Scotland shirt. We've seen it. Give it to the I, I, I would, I, I'd like to see what Turnbull does in a Scotland shirt. I'd like to see what Gilmore does in a Scotland shirt when, when given a full ninety minutes and not. Yeah, why is Parson not starting? Uh, close contact. Oh fuck, he won. But you know what I mean, like. I, I would just I think you need to experiment with these games and uh, what is he, he going to do maybe bring Gilmore on with 15 minutes to go and you could see if, he, if, he, see if he brings Gilmore on 15 minutes to go and we're trailing the game 3-0 what, what are you really learning for that you know what he could be playing Forrest right wing back I don't really know what he's doing and what and Forrest again these guys with fitness issues should they really be starting I, I don't know how the Celtic guys are, are shoo-ins to be fair unless he wants the Celtic job and this is his way of getting it, getting it like but to, to me, I, I, I mean, I think you can argue that the Scottish Celtic players shouldn't be anywhere near the starting 11. Just based on their league form this season. I mean, Forrest has had a disaster. Yes, yeah, Christie's been awful. Well, Forrest I has mean, been injured. Like McGregor, I guess it's been the best at the three, but even then he's been really, been really pish. poor. Well, out of the three, like, maybe. Well, I, mean, well I, I think it's fair to say Christie's been the worst. Yep. So, I mean... And oh. David Turnbull's been the best at the four of them. So. He gets a start, so I, I guess that's fair. But I mean, why the others starting? I do not fucking know. Even the former Celtic man, Stuart Armstrong, starting. What is this? Steve Clark got a secret alliance here. I don't know though. I think the pie going up against Jack Hendry and uh, Cooper. I mean, Steve that's me, like, aye. I mean, Cooper's pretty like defender. Huh? Oh, Leeds can't. captain. Aye, Leeds <laughs> concede about six goals a game. <laughs> yeah, that's not because of Cooper. That's because the. Uh, it's because of that pedo Belsey, like to sit on the fucking grass, that's why that is. So, um, yeah, what, what predictions for tonight? Will the Scots get the job done? I'm going to say, I'll say we lose in a valiant. I predict that 0-0 on my channel, but that was before all of these injuries come in. I'm going to go 3-1 Holland. 
Actually, no, we're good defensively. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. Benefit of the doubt. Who's getting the goal? Baby I'm Turnbull. Go- I'm going 1-0 Holland because we're pish. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. I've changed my prediction. We don't score and... Uh, but we don't really concede either. It sh- this should be an experiment. And, but you watch this. It'll, it'll play the same team for about 75 minutes. I think we only concede... I don't think we concede through bad defending. I think we concede more more through like individual errors. Yeah, like watch. I guess if someone individually doesn't defend, then that is considered bad defending. We're not as a team. But yeah, it's like no. It's just for me. Like sometimes, like that game against Austria, the guy gets beaten for the header. I mean, I can't really. You can't put that on the defence. Who was? Who was that? Was that? That wasn't Henry, was it? I think it was Henry. Actually. Can't remember some jobber. I think it was Henry. Right, it might have been Henry. Like you know what I mean? See, just because Henry, Joe Henry, just because Henry like bails out and, and doesn't win a header, you can't say oh bad defence, Scott, or bad. I was bad defending for that goal. I don't think it was like one person just didn't do their job properly. Yeah. And I think that's every time we concede a goal, it's uh, like Danny Marshall with that strike. I mean, he, he should save that. I know another reason why this team shouldn't play the whole ninety minutes because. I mean, Tierney needs to be wrapped in cotton roll. See these players that are injury prone. I know the Dutch might fear we're going to tank them at the actual Euro, so they'll try and take Tierney out beforehand. That'd be a smart thing to do. But anyway, I'm going 1 1. I'm going 1 0 Holland. And on that note. That's a pretty sour note. Sour grapes.